When writing a computer program, you need to be able to tell the computer what to do in different scenarios. For exa example, if we open the calculator, we need, you should, the calculator app would need to do one thing if the user tapped the addition button. And another thing, if the user tapped the subtract, subtraction button. So five minus six is different from five plus six. So these inputs and these are the operators and these will control the control flow. The con con it will control the flow of the program. So in computer programming terms, this concept is known as control flow. It is also named or it is so named because the flow of the program is controlled by various methods. In this uh, lesson, we will start learning about decision making and repeat tasks in your program by using the syntax to control the flow. So you will, you will learn uh, also about the booleans that we have uh, learned that they represent true or false values and how you can use these to compare data. So we will start by the comparison, this is comparison operators. Comparison operators, okay? You've seen a few types now, such as int double string. Here you will learn more about another type, one that will let you compare values through the comparison operators. When you perform a, sub a comparison, such as looking for a greater of two numbers, the answer is either true or false, okay? So Kotlin has a new type called Boolean, and we have seen it in the previous uh, previous lessons, but just a demonstration about the Booleans in Kotlin. So val, yes, variable, if type Boolean equal to true, okay? And val, no, variable, I will name it as li like this, var able boolean equal to false. Okay, so I have created two variables, uh, two uh, constants of, I will name it, make it them as variables, okay? So yes variable or no variable, of type boolean equal to true and the other is false. So booleans only have two type, two values, true or false, okay? And because Kotlin's type interface, you can leave like this, you can like directly put it, its value, true or false. A boolean can only be either true or false, denoted by the keywords true or false. In the code above here, you use the keywords to set the state of each variable. Now, we are going to introduce another thing and use the, the booleans inside the boolean operator. So, boolean operators. So, what are the boolean operators? Booleans are commonly used to compare values. For example, you may have two values and you want to know if they are equal. If they are equal, then true. And if they aren't, so it is false. So how to do that by using the equality operator? Val, constant val, does, I will name it as, does one equal to, equal to, this is the name of the variable, equal to, and here I can assign and check if one equal to two. Guys, look at here. 
one is it equal to two this is me this is the meaning of is it equal so boolean expression can can be simplified this is simplify boolean this is equal to false so this is the uh, direct answer of this boolean expression but the boolean expression here is telling and the checking equal equal sign this is for testing this is for testing equality so kotlin infers that does one equal to two variable is boolean is a boolean clearly one does not equal to two and therefore it would be false okay so this would return a false if we go and try to print uh, does one equal to two and run the program it will return for us false so let me run it may took sometimes uh, some time uh, when running and it is equal to False. So we have learned that the equality here, the equality operator is testing for one. Is it equal to two? It is false. So it returns a Boolean. So these are the Boolean operators. These are Boolean operators, the two equal sign. If I put one equal to two, it is very uh, obvious it is wrong because I cannot assign. This is assignment or not expression. But if I put two operate two uh, equal sign, it is a Boolean expression and it is a equality operator denoted by two equal signs. Okay. Now, if you need to check if they are not equal, so how to do that? It is very a very good operator to check if it is not equal so we start by exclamation mark similarly you can find out if two values are not equal using the one the does not does not equal sign which is represented by exclamation mark and the equal sign okay now let's run and see And here we go, guys, we have, it is true. So one does not equal to two. So it is a Boolean of true and it returns true to the system. Okay. This time the comparison is true because one does not equal to two and the prefix exclamation mark operator also called not operator. This is the not operator toggles true to false and false to true. For example, if I need to change one equal equal to two, this is false. And I can put here the not equal, the not operator, not false. This is the, the answer of this would be false, but not here, not false. It would be returning true. Let's try to run and see how it works and it's going here to display true so this is the not operator here we have uh, learned about operators and the boolean operators and uh, the two more uh, operators let you determine if the value is greater than you can check like this greater than this one is it equal to two a greater than two greater than or equal to let's run and see it will return absolutely false okay because one is not equal to false to two and one is not greater than two okay you can use also the less than this is the less than and you less than or equal let me run and see and it will return true okay because it is less than two okay so this is less than 
sign operator. This is the less than or equal sign. This is greater than, and this is greater than or equal sign, and this is equal sign, z equal, and this is not equal sign. These are the six operators that we are using inside the Boolean operators. These are the comparison operators. You can see it. Check them, comparison operators. Okay. So, it's uh, very simple to understand this because they are logic. 